What up everybody, Better Man here. In this video we're gonna go over how to stay safe in the hood, tips on how to stay safe in the hood. Um, this video has value for everyone because you always might end up in some area where you're not familiar with or anything like that. Or even if you're on vacation in a Caribbean country or a different country, these tips will be very valuable, especially at the end. I got one tip that might save your life. So let's get started here. Uh, tip one would be just realize that the hood's just a normal area, you know. Like I live there, you know, millions, billions of people live there. For most people, it's no big deal. It's just a normal, normal thing. And it's only a really small amount of people there who could cause you trouble that you got to worry about. So, yeah, just keep in mind, it's just like any other neighborhood, really. Just things are a bit cheaper. Tip two is eye contact. Make it quick with someone to acknowledge them and then look away and just go about your business. So you walk by someone, you can look at them quickly and then look away. And that way it's just, hey, I acknowledge you, but it's not like I'm not looking at you because I'm afraid of you. And it's not like I'm trying to stare at you and mean mug you and be a gangster and make a problem. So... That, that's a good one to know. And tip three is realize that in the hood, people are going to stare at you. People watch everything. Yeah, and that's normal, though. Don't worry about that. That's like, that's just how it is. You know, if someone's you look at every little thing and you just watch and you just people are just curious, nosy, obnoxious, whatever. It's cool, you know. But yeah, don't don't worry about that. That's nothing. You know, I do that. Like, who is this guy? Why is he in this? You know, people look like that sometimes, but they really don't care. They're just they're just being curious. And tip number four would be, honestly, like depending on how dangerous the area is, you're better off to avoid walking if you can. So Uber or car would be better. And if you do have to walk, definitely might want to avoid that at night because. That's that's kind of a worldwide thing. Walking at night, depending on the neighborhood, can be can be a little more risky. Now, tip five is keep your money and your valuables in a hidden spot, so not in your normal pockets. Keep it in your socks, I don't know, your underwear, your bra, some weird pocket, a weird pocket you might have on your jacket or somewhere unorthodox. So say if I had a lot of money in my wallet, I could... Put a little bit in my normal wallet in case someone tried to rob me, whatever, here, take it, 15 bucks, and keep the rest in your socks or, yeah, anything like that. That's a big one. That especially helps with uh, foreign countries, too, going on vacation, whatever. Tip six would be just walk with confidence. Don't show fear, but don't also look like you're cocky or you think you're the man or you're trying to start something. Just... So walk confidence, normal guy, just act normal, everything's normal. Uh, tick seven would be, if you're walking down a sidewalk and you see a big group of guys on the other end of that sidewalk, and they're headed towards you or you're headed towards them, you can just casually go to the other side of the road and just kind of like avoid them and it's it's natural, it's good. And that, because honestly, the reality is that's, that's when you that's a situation where you're probably gonna have someone either mouth off or try to rob you or something. So if you can just go to the other side of the road, it's normal and just keep walking, it's no big deal. And tip eight would be this is the last tip, this is the one that can really save you. And it's bring protection. Now what I mean by this is whatever is legal protection that you can have in your area. So this could be a knife, maybe, I don't want to say gun, because I don't want to promote anything like that, but it could still protect you in the sense that, say, if someone pulled a knife on you and then you pulled out a gun, I'm not saying shoot them at all, I'm saying there you go, and then you just tell them, leave me alone, and you're good. So this tip can really, really, really help you. Like, I've you know, I've been in situations where I've had something like that and it's it's ended up really saving me, actually saving my life. So, but yeah, a common one for that would just be a little pepper spray or whatever you can get or whatever is legal there. Like, again, I don't want to promote anything illegal. 
So you hand your little pepper spray, you just point it at someone, say, leave me alone, whatever, or something like that, and then you get out of there and you're good. And that was it, guys, some tips on how to act in the hood. So we'll go over again quick. Tip one, realize that it's normal, normal area, no big deal. Tip two, keep eye contact quick, acknowledge someone, look away. Tip three, realize that people watch everyone and everything, that's normal. Tip four, avoid walking if possible, car, Uber is better. Tip five, keep the money and valuables in a different spot if you can, hidden pocket, socks, underwear. And tip six, walk with confidence, but don't show fear. And at the same time, don't act cocky. Tip seven, if you're walking down a sidewalk and you see a group, try to just walk to the other side. And tip eight, bring protection, whatever this may be, suit this to your your um, geographical area. And that's it, guys. Hope this helped. Uh, you know, if even one person listened to this, it could actually save someone getting beat up or robbed. So that's cool. And yeah, guys, feel free to subscribe. More value coming. And that's all, guys. Peace.